Hello, my name is Doruka Tuninadlescu and I'm going to do a comparison and analysis between Microsoft and Berkshire Hathaway. First of all, I'd like to start by apologizing for the way I'm recording this presentation. Unfortunately, due to unforeseen circumstances and technic some, some te technicalities, I wasn't able to record the presentation um, at the university's campus, leading me to this moment. Thus, let's uh, get straight to it. The reason I have chosen Microsoft and Berkshire Hathaway are because uh, Microsoft uh, and Berkshire Hathaway place are, are listed as being on the same place on the same uh, place in 2006 and 2016 by uh, Bloomberg uh, when it comes to market cap. More precisely, Microsoft in market capitalization uh, was placed in 2006 on the fourth place, while 2016 was on the uh, third place. Uh, Berkshire Hathaway, on the other hand, in was placed in 2016 on the fourth place however it has not been present presented before in 2006. Moreover I would like to point out the fact that Berkshire Hathaway it is the only uh, company uh, which is in the financials industries that is present in 2016. I would like to start uh, the, analysis of, uh, the analysis by looking at Microsoft following by um, Berkshire Hathaway and how they uh, they looked like in 2006 and 2016, uh, following by a comparison between those two uh, and the comparison between them and uh, the market trends. First of all, for Microsoft in 2006, according to their annual reports, the revenue grew by 11% to 44.28 billion. Their operating income was 16.47 billion, and uh, they returned 23 billion. To shareholders through different um, uh, through share buybacks, uh, research and development uh, was uh, noted according to them as uh, being number one uh, company in investing in research and development. They invested 6.6 .6 billion and they celebrated its 5,000 platinum. Also, in the same year, Xbox One was launched, thus entering new markets and being uh, a, com a direct com a competition to Sony's PlayStation. Bill Gates announced the intention of stepping down uh, from the company's leadership in 2008. Now it's in 2006 that he will step down in 2008. Uh, and he also announced who is going to uh, take, his, uh, take, the, take the leadership from him. Who is going, and um, a number of acquisitions like uh, Teleo and Massive. Teleo, which was uh, voice over internet protocol and Massive was uh, known for its uh, advertising within video games um, were done. In 2016, 85, uh, in Microsoft recorded 85.3 billion in revenue, which was a decrease in revenues compared to 2015. Their operating income was 20.2 billion, and their total cash return to shareholders was 26.1 billion. The cash returns were, were both in dividend payouts and, uh, shareholder, and share buybacks. Windows 10 was active on more than 400 million devices. Um, Azure, which is their clouding um, uh, platform, the, the cloud software platform, allowed them to experience a triple digit growth. Bing, um, well, which is their search engine, uh, became profitable by uh, managing to leverage the Windows 10 active being on uh, 400 million devices. And search and advertising revenue went up by 17%. Uh, also, more than 70 million people were using uh, Office 365 commercial every month. Berkshire uh, Hathaway, <clears throat> it is, uh, Berkshire Hathaway uh, mainly, uh, it is an insurance company which uh, uses the amount of uh, available liquidity to invest in other companies as well. In 2006, they experienced a gain net worth of 16.9 billion and an increase in share value by 18.4 percent. A good um, one of the reasons they've experienced this uh, gain, this gain, and this increase was because a good majority of the 70, uh, 73 businesses which they uh, own, if not entirely, then up until uh, uh, if not entirely, then at least 90 percent uh, performed outstanding well. One of the examples mentioned is Geico, which is uh, an insurance company uh, for cars. Also, due to the fact that uh, Mother Nature um, was kind and no major natural disasters appeared, 
uh, they didn't have to pay uh, the insurance and could uh, use the premiums to um, invest in uh, other industries. And they've also acquired a number of uh, companies such as Pacific Corp and Business Oil. It is important to note that no dividends were paid or, uh, share were, or shares were repurchased. In 2016, the gain in net worth was $27.5 billion, uh, which led to an increase in share value by 10.7%. Then again, no shares, uh, no share buybacks, uh, no, no shares were buyback or dividends uh, were being paid. Um, the, due to uh, the fact that uh, they are, have so much experience and they've been, they're strong in the insurance sector, they, are ab they were able to underwrite uh, profit for the past uh, 14 years, totaling 28 billion. Also, the company has continuously looked out to uh, diversify and if not acquired new businesses, they have managed to have a very um, wide portfolio uh, in uh, other small uh, in influential companies uh, in order to mimic the economy as much as possible. Analysis. Um, in this slide, where, uh, where we can absorb, we can ob observe the differences in uh, share prices, uh, both between Microsoft uh, and uh, Berkshire Hathaway, uh, but also the differences uh, between uh, themselves when it comes to uh, percentage growth. And uh, um, as we can see. Uh, um, Microsoft is the one with blue. Berkshire Hathaway uh, shares, uh, Class A shares, are the ones with red, and Berkshire, uh, Berkshire Hathaway's um, shares, uh, Class B shares, are marked with uh, orange. As we can see, both of them experienced a significant drop uh, when the 2008 financial crisis hit, but uh, after that, they uh, sunk, they immediately jumped over. Uh, with um, uh, overall increasing returns, which uh, led, of course, to the um, increase in the market uh, capitalization, as we've seen previous. Now, what, what are the main trends uh, that could have been absorbed in the stock market? Uh, and what are the trends and whether uh, Microsoft and Berkshire Hathaway have followed these trends? First of all, the 2008 financial crisis led to a loss in faith in financial institutions, which uh, led people to uh, look for other opportunities uh, in order to invest uh, their money. Uh, that combined with uh, the fact that the exploitation of oil and gas uh, has been disrupted also by the emergence of new technologies, which revolve around shell gas, uh, and uh, this combined with uh, drop uh, in the oil price, with also a sense of community going towards uh, to having sustainable development as a goal, as well as many other technological improvements, such as uh, the product, such as the advancement in um, solar panels, uh, which has led to, um, which, which led in the end to the um, to minimizing uh, the cost of producing uh, electricity by using um, solar energy uh, this leading uh, this actually it's actually it is cheaper to create nowadays uh, energy uh, from solar panels rather than from using uh, fossil fuels all of this uh, led to the people to start uh, rethinking about their uh, options when investing into stocks and when choosing companies. Also, the apparition, the apparition of new disruptive models and technologies such as the iPhone uh, let, uh, let build the people to uh, focus more on companies which are focused on uh, in improvements in technology rather than uh, exploitations or speculations, both of the natural resources uh, or of the financial uh, models or financial markets. Uh, nevertheless, uh, the shareholders' mindset uh, changed uh, towards companies which are um, more oriented uh, to organic growth uh, rather than 
uh, immediate growth. What I mean by this is uh, there has been um, preference in investing in companies which don't necessarily pay back shares or dividends, but have as a focus the investment of the uh, accumulation of the extra revenues into um, uh, the, the, into the company's core competencies, uh, thus leading to uh, creation of better technologies um, or better uh, models. Digitization has changed the consecrated uh, business models, uh, thus forcing the uh, incumbents either to change or to diversify. And uh, many companies which have managed to thrive during these years have been companies which uh, use corporate uh, venturing as opportunities to diversify their portfolio as well as to disrupt themselves. Microsoft uh, has experienced um, a lot of uh, diversification in, since they changed their business model in 2014. More precisely, in 2014, um, a new CEO was appointed and it changed from um, the mentality of buying products once uh, and uh, yeah, that's it. To uh, the, by this, I'm referring to the Office 365, to a more uh, to a more subscription based, which allowed it to um, extend over uh, competition's product over the competition's platforms such as Apple as well. Uh, by a, uh, this combined with uh, exploiting new technologies to create added value for customers, led to um, an increase in the Microsoft. Um, a value. Also, Microsoft um, did a lot of corporate venturing to different investment uh, in uh, different runs. Uh, by this, trying to disrupt not only itself, also uh, different companies, also different markets as well. Um, one of the companies which they uh, corporate ventured in is uh, notably Uber. Also, they managed to. Uh, have a different number of acquisitions. Uh, one of them was LinkedIn, which they uh, which uh, aligned within their business model and their view, and they managed to uh, enter a new market and disrupt other uh, incumbents uh, when it comes to the um, uh, human resources and recruiting sector. Berkshire Hathaway, on the other hand, also managed to. Uh, diversify, diversify through uh, different investments and acquisitions of companies um, due to the fact that it's a, an insurance company and it is so well abroad uh, they've uh, uh, they haven't managed to uh, in order to diversify their portfolio they uh, decided to invest in IT companies that uh, all that focus on innovation as well such as Apple and um, They've also managed uh, to different corporate venturing grants to um, uh, invest in uh, different businesses that could disrupt or could help them. Also, notable acquisitions is the ac acquisitions is the acquisition of company Duracell in uh, November 2014. So, as we can observe, both of this, uh, both Microsoft and Berkshire have been focused on a continuous improvement and involvement and following the market trends and moving towards a digitization and into moving towards a model in which they invest not only in themselves and their organic, organic growth, but also into the um, disruption of their own uh, business model. Thank you for um, watching and have a good day.